Hi guys! So today I want to talk about medications and specifically the ones that I am taking for my anxiety and depression. Um, I'm just going to tell you basically what they're used for, any side effects I might encounter, and how long I've been on them. Now I'm not a psychiatrist so I don't know exactly how these drugs work, but um, I do have the little pamphlet they give you with the medications and I wrote myself some notes. I did a little research online but I don't really know much. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll start with, I've been on Lexapro, Welbutrin, and Perfenazine. Um, I am currently taking all three and I've been on Lexapro for just about a year, probably a little bit over a year. Um, last year, at the beginning of the school year, I was diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety, and I was immediately put on Lexapro to help combat that, and, um, I was put on Lexapro 10 milligrams, and that is currently what I'm taking. Um, the dose has been switched around a lot, but I was always having side effects and, and stuff like that, so I'm... Mon Lexapro 10 milligrams. I think it can go as high as 30 milligrams. I think. Um, don't quote me on that, but yeah. So I've been on Lexapro, and Lexapro is used to treat depression and generalized anxiety disorder, which is what I have. So um, I've been on that for just over a year now, and it helped a lot. Within the first couple of weeks, I people were mentioning an improvement in my mood. I didn't really see it, but other people saw it, so that's good. And um, it helped a lot with my anxiety. Before I was put on Lexapro, I um, was having a lot of panic attacks. And if anyone out there has had a true panic attack, you know just how horrible they are. And horrible. Um, since being on Lexapro, I have only had a couple panic attacks. One was like a full-blown panic attack and a couple that were just, I was starting to get there, but I was able to calm myself down. So, um, I don't really encounter any side effects currently on my 10 milligrams, except for if I miss a couple of doses in a row, I'll get very dizzy. Um, which I know I'm not supposed to miss any doses, I'm supposed to be like on this, but sometimes you just, I don't really know how to explain it, I don't know why, but sometimes I just don't take my medication, and I'm not really sure why. So yeah, um, I'm also on Wellbutrin, and that I started in April, I think. Yeah, when I left school, I left a little bit early, probably more like May. I left school early last year, it, you probably know I took a medical leave of absence. And right when I left um, was when I was put on Wellbutrin. And you start out at 150 milligrams, and that is the dose I'm on now. It does go up to 300 milligrams, which I have been on, but I was encountering side effects and stuff like that. So that is a pill you take once a day, and they advise you to take it in the morning because... It is supposed to give you energy throughout the day, which I don't really feel that, so I don't take it in the morning, I take it at night when I take all my other medications. But it's used to treat depression and improve mood and um, feelings of well-being. Um, I was put on it so that it could enhance the way the Lexapro works. They, they both work generally in... Um, in the same way to treat depression. I can't say since being on Wellbutrin that I've seen much of a difference. 
Um, I, I still feel pretty much the same. Um, a good thing is I don't really encounter any side effects currently with Wellbutrin, other than dizziness if I don't take my medications, but it's just probably withdraw feelings. So yeah, and most currently I was prescribed perfenazine, which I don't really know much about. Um, I guess it's, there are two milligram tablets, and I take two tablets a day, both in the evening. Um, I guess, I don't really know why I take two, I don't know why it's just not one bigger pill. Anyway, that's the pharmacist. This perfenazine is used to, tr to treat mood and mental disorders, such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Um, now, that's not what I have, but I guess it's used for people who encounter feelings of wanting to hurt themselves. It's supposed to bring them down from that, um, you know, when, when a schizophrenic person or a bipolar person is in their manic state, um, there's a whole lot going on, and I guess it's used to bring them down, um, and not encounter such mood changes and everything. So, um, I was put on this medication so that it could improve the way Lexapro and Wellbutrin is working for me. Because we've played with the doses of those so much and being on a higher dose doesn't really work for me because of the side effects, the perfenazine is supposed to act like the Lexapro and Wellbutrin are at the higher dose and work better, even though they're not. It's just supposed to enhance the way they work. Um, and it's also supposed to improve my sleep. It's, um, it makes me drowsy, so I take that at night right before bedtime, and it makes me not want to hurt myself, which, um, I have been feeling some urges of self-harm, and which is new because I've never really felt that way before, um, not since being diagnosed anyway. And I know that that um, comes along with taking these medications. For some reason, the suicide rate, like, chances of being suicidal increases when you take antidepressants, which doesn't really make sense to me. But. Yeah, those are my medications. I've been on perfenazine for just about a week now, so... I don't know. It does make me drowsy, I guess. Anyway, that's about all I have to say about my um, medications. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if the lighting is weird. I don't know, my white balance is probably off. I, ha I don't have a very good camera. My camera sucks. I use the webcam that's on my laptop. I need to get a real camera. But, I'm poor. And I don't have a job. And no one wants to hire a poor college kid. So yeah, that's what's been going on. If anyone has any questions about any of these three medications, or any other medications, um, I can help you. I'm not a psychiatrist or anything, but um, I know a little bit about this kind of medication. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.